Autonomous driving is Tesla's revolutionary technology. It is a function that puts autonomous control systems on the map and shows us what cars are capable of. But it can be a pretty confusing topic, especially if you are unfamiliar with autonomous management. Most people want to buy luxurious Tesla autopilot vehicles, but struggle to find out how this feature works. Therefore, to make your life a bit easier, in today's video, we will be talking about how does Tesla's autopilot work. So stay with us till the end of the video to find out something unknown. So, what exactly is autopilot? Why is everyone so excited about it? And why is it so controversial? Here is our opinion of what autopilot is and what it can do. Autopilot is an optional assistance system for Tesla vehicles, which must be purchased separately. It consists of premium comfort and safety features. You can easily purchase Autopilot in one of two packages, Autopilot or Full Self Drive, which you can purchase directly through your Tesla account. Features include your Tesla's ability to drive, accelerate and brake all autonomously and automatically in your lane. Currently, Autopilot requires driver supervision and does not make your vehicle fully autonomous. However, as Autopilot features evolve over time, Tesla says your vehicle can be continuously upgraded to newer versions of Autopilot through wireless software updates. As of 2016, all new Tesla vehicles come standard with the necessary Autopilot hardware, which includes 8 360-degree cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, forward-facing radar, vision processing tools, a built-in computer, etc. This system can see all directions simultaneously and ultimately provide Tesla with self-management skills. Many autopilot features such as auto steer, navigate on autopilot and summon are disabled by default. You must go to the autopilot control menu on the settings tab to enable them. You will have to agree to always keep the steering wheel and always under control. To use cruise control with respect to traffic on the S and X model, pull down once on the cruise control bar to the left of the steering column. For Model 3 and Model Y, pull down once on the transmission selector body on the right of the column. Pull the cruise control rod on the steering column twice towards you to use automatic steering on the Model S and Model X. For Model 3 and Model Y, pull down twice on the transmission selector body to the right of the steering column. A grey P icon will appear on the dashboard if your car sees a parking space. To use Car Park, depress the brake, switch the transmission selector to reverse and hold down the brake pedal. Start Fleet is displayed in blue text on the touchscreen. Tap this button to activate the function and then release the brake and steering wheel the fleet begins to control the car. Once the park is automatically completed, the vehicle will let you know the work is completed and will move it to the park. In addition, to trigger automatic lane changes, you must enable automatic lane change via the autopilot menu on the settings tab. Then when the car is in automatic steering mode, the driver must turn on the turn signal. For Model 3 and Model Y, Autopilot can be used on most highways by moving the selector lever down twice. For the Model S and Model X, navigation on most motorways can be done by pulling the rear of the Voyage twice towards you. Tesla Autopilot is known as an automatic steering assistance system. In a word, this feature allows Tesla to see cars and the road around it and, to a limited extent, to self-drive. This does not mean that Autopilot can turn Tesla into a self-driving car. The system is functional and still very limited and requires the driver's attention for immediate inspection, despite the name Autopilot. Autopilot is basically a system that is installed as standard on every modern Tesla. The system includes very basic functions that allows Tesla to automatically accelerate to a preset speed, brake for other vehicles or pedestrians they see in front of them, and the minimum steering that keeps the vehicle under control. Your comfort is focused on one lane. This Tesla autonomous steering system is designed to help the most difficult steering parts, namely long distance driving on motorways and other similar roads. These cars also come with emergency braking, collision warning, blind spot monitoring and adaptive cruise control. Crucially, this large function only controls acceleration and braking, leaving the driver to do the driving. 
Fully autonomous driving is an optional accessory that is only available as a $10,000 or $200 a month surcharge for Model S and Model X drivers in the United States. This is basically a more advanced version of the basic autonomous control system with features to help you drive. FSD Autopilot comes with features such as automatic lane changes that handle an entry, exit and overtaking as well as something called Autopilot Navigation that can take you from the direct direction to the exits along the way. FSD also has an automatic marking system traffic lights and track recognition, and a call function that guides your vehicle from the parking lot directly to you. FSD is also acquiring the Auto Steer Assistance function on the street, which according to Tesla will be launched at the end of the year. But there is not a word about the exact time. Advanced Autopilot is also something you may have heard of, even though it is not available in the United States. Advanced Autopilot is basically an average option for certain areas such as the United Kingdom. The UK offers you many of the best FSD features at a fraction of the price. If you've gotten this far, be sure to smash the subscribe button for more awesome content. Advanced Autonomous Driving comes with automatic lane change, automatic parking, call and automatic navigation for driving, but does not include traffic lights or stop warning with sign recognition. Judging by the UK's Model S order page, it will also not include automatic driving on city roads when this feature is launched. When autopilot is activated, the car can drive in the lane, change lanes, control the car's speed and control braking when driving on the motorway. Tesla vehicles with autopilot can also park on their own and park in vertical positions. In January, the company also updated the system to enter and exit parking spaces without a driver in the vehicle. Drivers can also call their cars to pick them up. There are a lot of things that autopilot from Tesla still shouldn't do, such as driving in residential areas with streetlights and stopwatches. The system is intended to use on the motorway only. While Autopilot handles most of the driving on the highway, drivers should always have their hands on the wheel. The driver is still responsible for the car and ultimately controls it. What's more, you always have intuitive access to the information your car uses to inform you of its actions, Tesla said in an October statement when it first released Autopilot. The autopilot system is designed to find out if you have your hands on the steering wheel. If you have not touched the steering wheel for some time, it will alert you visually and audibly to take control. If you still do not take over, the car will start to slow down on its own. The autopilot system from Tesla is also constantly learning from other cars in the Tesla fleet and is improving. The camera, radar, ultrasonic sensors and GPS work together to provide real-time feedback to the Tesla fleet constantly. This data is then used to improve the overall system. You may enjoy this video here. Until next time, thank you for watching.